everybody. Welcome to my craft episode of Humpty Dumpty's After the Fall. I had a lot of fun trying to come up with some ideas that we could do with crafts that go with Humpty Dumpty. I, I thought about we could talk about how to make omelets because I love omelets and I thought, well, we just did cooking with Caesar and that didn't go so well. So I thought maybe we should stick with more crafty stuff. Then I remembered, you know, last spring we planted gardens and eggshells and that was kind of fun. But I really just kind of wanted to do something hands on -y with some craft paper that maybe we've got lying around because we always have craft paper. So I came up with two different ideas. One was actually making Humpty Dumpty himself. And our little Humpty Dumpty sits on the wall and he can even have a great fall and crack open. See how fun that is? And then if you, you know, really liked the happily ever after part of our story, we could also make the bird that Humpty Dumpty becomes at the end of our story. So we're gonna show you how to do both those crafts today. They're easy enough to do for real little hands with some help from mom or dad or a caregiver, or they're challenging enough for kids to do on their own as long as they're um, okay with cutting scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and we will do our Humpty Dumpty craft first. If you come on down to the Her Memorial Library in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, we have all this stuff prepared for you in a bag. Um, so you don't have to uh, do the downloading from the internet and cutting things out. Everything's kind of prepped for you. It's just a matter of assembling it. But if you can't make it down, you can still do the craft. You simply need to create an egg template. Um, I found a picture of, an, of a Humpty Dumpty on the internet that we really liked and we cut him out to make him our egg shaped template. And uh, in the kit, we've already sent the template with you. And you just need to get it on a white sheet of construction paper. You're also going to need a blue sheet of construction paper. You're going to need some uh, scissors and glue, some markers, and then you're also going to need um, a yellow circle for the oak inside your egg. You're gonna need some googly eyes. You're going to need um, a little um, brass fastener and a brass bead and about a three inch strip of ribbon for his belt. And then all of these um, rectangles, there's about eight or nine rectangles and about four or five squares that you're gonna to need to build Humpty Dumpty's wall. So the first thing we wanna do is you wanna take your template and you wanna put it on your white construction paper and you want to trace him out. Or if you feel confident just cutting it out on the white paper, you can do that too, whichever you feel most comfortable doing. Um, we gave our Humpty Dumpty legs because he sits on the wall. If you wanna just put your egg on the wall, you can do that too. Um, these are your crafts, guys, so you can make them look any way you want. Um, one of my children suggested that my Humpty Dumpty looked kind of silly, and maybe he does, so you can make yours as silly or as serious as you want him to look. So once you have your template um, cut a, uh, trace on your piece of paper, then it is time to cut it out. So again, if you're really good with scissors, go ahead and cut these out. Uh, make sure you use safety scissors, not your mom's good sewing scissors. And you can just start cutting out along the legs and then um, cut out around the actual shape of your Humpty Dumpty. It's okay if you leave some of the black line that you made to trace them out on. Um, it'll make them stand out more on the piece of paper. So once you've got your template all cut out, um, we can set that aside because next you have to build your wall. And you're going to want to take your, um, your rectangles of scrap paper. I've got mine of all kinds of assorted colors and designs here just to make our wall look a little more interesting. And you kind of want to lay it out um, to decide how you want your wall to look. You know, maybe you want to do um, shapes on the uh, little rectangles on the bottom, and then you could do um, like the squares kind of on the top here, like so. Kind of mix it up a little bit. You know, kind of kind of eyeball how you want it to look maybe. And then once you've got it all figured out, then all you have to do is glue it. So let's go ahead and start gluing. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the wall glued down here. If your rectangles overlap, no big deal. Just take your scissors and trim them off on the side so that your shapes all fit. The idea is to give it kind of a funky looking little wall. And then you wanna take your Humpty Dumpty, and we're gonna to have to crack him open. And this is where it gets kind of fun. You don't wanna start up too high because you wanna be able to put a face on him later. So you wanna come down here a little bit lower on his body, 
and you just want to make some zigzag cuts. Again, your new cutters might need some help with this. Um, and you can make as many zigzag cuts as you want. But we want to completely cut Dumpty Dumpty in half so that you've got two parts to your Humpty Dumpty. And then you're going to take your brass fastener here and we're going to put him on one end of your Humpty Dumpty. You either put it on the right or the left hand side. It doesn't really matter which one you go with. Um, I'm right handed so I'll go with my right hand side. And you just need to poke a hole in through the, the cardboard here, so, or the construction paper. So you might need to use your scissors for a little bit of help with that, um, or a sharp pencil works too. And then you're going to want to put a matching hole right through the construction paper on the bottom half too. And then once you have your... Oops, I missed. Hang on. Didn't quite get it all the way through on that one. And then once you have your brad all the way through, then you can just open it up so that your two halves stay together. And you can, oops, and we'll, don't make it too tight because then you can't spin it. And then you want to have it so that your Humpty Dumpty can open up. Just like so. And this is still sticking so we will loosen that up again. It is really tempting to make it too tight, and you don't want to make it too tight. And then there you can see, oops, we'll fly them out. And you can crack open your egg, just like that. And then you need to glue your Humpty Dumpty's legs to the wall, because we don't want our Humpty Dumpty to fall off. So you want to put a little bit of glue here, just on his legs. Make sure you're not gluing the top part. We only want the bottom part to stick. And then we can put him comfortably on our wall. Now you can also take a marker and you can color in his shoes. You can give him socks. And you can color in his feet here, his footwear. If you want to color this before you put him on the wall, you can do that too if you're worried about getting marker on your wall. You can also just call it graffiti if you've got it on your wall. That's okay too. You can give them any color shoes you want. You can give them any kind of design shoes you want. They don't have to look just like mine. I just go for Mary Jane's because they're simple. And I'm not that really good at drawing shoes. And you just color them all in. So yeah, if you want to give them a Nike swoosh or if you want to give them shoelaces or whatever, be my guest. It'll be a lot of fun to see how creative you guys get. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to glue the, the egg yolk on the inside. And again, you only want to glue half of it here because we want to be able to tuck it into the bottom of the egg shell. And so you just want to slide it in like so and then push down. And there's your egg. And the last but not least is we have to put on his face and his belt. His belt is simple. You just want to take the ribbon that we've provided or whatever kind of ribbon you have. And we're going to give him a little brass bead as a belt buckle. And we're just going to slide that through like so. And we're going to glue that right around Humpty, where his waist would be. That kind of gives you the impression that Humpty is wearing pants. And we can just glue a, a bead of glue here right across his waist. And... That would be just like this. You may have to hold it down for just a minute or so to get it into to stay. If you use enough glue, you don't have to, but there it will sit. And that kind of gives it a 3D look. And then last but not least is our eyes. We're going to glue our eyes on. You can, If you don't have googly eyes at home, again, it's not a big problem. You can draw them with marker or you can use construction paper. Um, I just use googly eyes because I think they're cute. And you can glue your eyes on your Humpty Dumpty's face. You can give him a surprised look to all that's going on. And here we'll center him a little bit. And then we can give him a big smile because he's happy up on his wall. Just like that. And there you have your Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. 
Now, the other craft we wanted to make was this really cute paper bird. And this is gonna be a little bit more challenging for younger hands, so you're gonna definitely need um, some help from a parent or a caregiver to do this craft. But it's really cute, and you can also put string through the top of it and then hang it from the ceiling so your bird can actually fly. Your more adventuresome people can actually fly them across the room. They do fly, but they do land hard and they don't always fly a second time. So I kind of like the idea if you're not gonna just let it sit on your tabletop to put some string in it and then hang it from um, a window shade or put a little push pin up in the ceiling and let them hang around your room. You make a whole flock of these and fill your whole bedroom with birds if you like. So how do we make our little aviation friend? Well, we got a template off the internet that you can use. Um, again, if you come to um, the library, we have this in a kit for you. But if you can't come to the library, that's okay too. You just need to make kind of this, um, this weird, I don't even know how to describe it, oblong body of a bird shape. And then you're gonna need a smaller semi or half circle and a triangle for the other parts of the bird body. So we have our bird body. They're all pre-cut for you at the library. We cut them out of a bright cardstock paper. You're gonna to wanna to make these out of cardstock so they're nice and firm. And as you can see, we cut a slit in the middle of it. And that's really important because that's what we're gonna slide the wings through. Um, some people like to use an X-Acto knife to cut that. Another way to do it is just to bend the bird in half and cut the slit in there. Um, and then we're gonna do that again here on the tail. We wanna put our tail in here. On our model, we used a staple to staple the tail on, but it took several tries because the paper is so thick. So I think on this version, we're just gonna put another slit in here like so, so that we can run our tail through it like we do our wings. And that will make it a little bit easier. So with the, with the bird cut out, the next thing you have to do is get your yellow sheet of construct of um, this is just regular 24 pound paper. It's a little bit thicker than regular paper, but not as thin as um, computer paper. And pick a color shape so your bird's colorful. We included blue and yellow in the kits we're giving you guys. And you want to just fold it into an accordion style fold. And these are about one inch folds. And you want to fold that paper like so. And that becomes the wings of your bird and you're gonna to have to slide them through the slit. And this is where it might get a little challenging for little fingers um, because it is kind of a tight fit. But once you get it through, those wings will pop up and out. And there you have the wings for your bird. Also included in your kit is a half moon sheet. It should be two half moon sheets of paper. And you can go ahead and glue them. I need to get more glue in my glue bottle. You can use a glue stick too. You don't have to use regular glue for this. Onto the side of your bird like so. And that way he's got a colorful belly on him. As long as you're gluing, you can go ahead and glue your eyes on. On that side, like so. You know what, I actually put my, we have to cut the tail on the other end. That's my bad. We're gonna cut the tail on this end. My bad, I knew I did something wrong there. My apologies, everybody. So we're just gonna cut the tail on this end. And we'll cover up the cut that I made with your eye. See, even Mrs. Post makes mistakes from time to time. And that's okay too. And we've got the eye. And we cover that up like so. And then for the beak, there will be a triangle that comes in your kit. You just need a little triangle that you've cut out. You wanna fold it in half. And then you want to glue it together on the inside. And then you want to glue along the, the wider edge of the outside. And then just put that right inside your bird so he gets a cute little bird beak. We fold it in half to give it some volume, so it's kind of poofy. And then last but not least, we need a tail on our bird so he can fly. And you're gonna to wanna to take your blue sheet of paper and cut it in half. Or if you're doing blue wings and you're using yellow leftover, then cut that in half. And here again too, you're gonna to wanna to accordion fold, but this time you don't wanna do an inch. You wanna do it really, 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 really thin. 
you want to do like um, a quarter of an inch folds here because otherwise it gets really hard to run it through. Okay, so and then you just finish the folds here. They don't even have to be exact. You can make them a little um, uneven so that your half sheet of paper now is accordion folded to be that small. And then we're just going to slide this again through the slit that we made in our bird for our bird tail. And we're going to turn him so that we can fan his tail out like so. And then what you guys can do is take your glue and glue along the edge. Oh, I need more glue. So you get right along the edge there. And then you want to glue these two ends together like so. And you're going to have to hold it for a few minutes so that it really sticks good. And that's how you're going to get your, your, fan, your tail to fan out on your bird. You can also put a paper clip on there and let it dry for a couple hours. And then you have your paper bird. If you want to do it the other way that was done in this bird, again, just fan out your tail. It might be easier for small fingers to make the full inch side accordion pleats again. And then we cut it in half and then we just stapled it to the side of the bird so that it too would hang. But either way, however you prefer to do it, go ahead and hang your birds up and let them fly in the sky and enjoy their freedom. So I hope you enjoyed our crafts today, everybody. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.